Hello, how to simplify this nice math problem without using calculator? Square root of 15 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 all to the power of 7 is equal to what? Then square root of 15 can be written as square root of 3 multiplied by 5 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 can be written as square root of 4 multiplied by 3 all to the power of 7 this is equal to square root of 3 then multiply by this is square root of 5 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 4 multiply by square root of 3 all to the power of 7. Then square root of 3 is common here. Let's bring it out. Here is square root of 3. Bracket. If you divide the whole of this by this, we have square root of 5. Plus this divided by this, we have 1. Divided by square root of 4. Multiply by square root of 3. All to the power of 7. This will cancel this. Then we have square root of 5 plus 1 divided by square root of 4. All to the power of 7. So this is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 divided by square root of 4 is 2 all to the power of 7. Now, let square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to A. Then we have That is root 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to A. This is equal to this implies that we have root 5 plus 1 is equal to 2 times A. 2A. Then let's square both sides of this equation. That is, so this equation can be written as 2a, if you take this 1 to this side, become minus 1, is equal to square root of 5. Now, let's square both sides of this equation, 2a minus 1, all square, is equal to square root of 5, all square. Then, dx is 4 a square minus 4 a plus 1 is equal to this we cancel this 5 then 4 a square will be equal to this 5 then if you take this minus 4a to the other side, it become plus 4a. And if you take this plus 1 to the other side, it become minus 1. So 4a square is equal to 5 minus 1. That is 4 plus 4a. Then let's divide all through by 4 because we can reduce this. This divide by 4 divided by 4, divided by 4. This we cancel this, this we cancel this, and this we cancel this. Here we have a square is equal to 1 plus a. Or a square is equal to a plus 1. Let's call this equation 
star. Since a square is equal to a plus one, let's square both sides of this equation again. A square all square is equal to a plus one all square. Then take note of this that if you have a raised to the power m to the power of n, this is equal to a raised to the power m n. Then you have a to the power of two times two. That is four is equal to this can be written as a square plus two a plus one now a to the power of four is equal to we already know that a square is equal to a plus one let's substitute there here is a plus one plus two a plus one then a to the power of four is equal to a plus 2a that is 3a plus 1 plus 1 2 let's call this equation double star now let's square both sides of this equation again a to the power of 4 all square is equal to 3a plus 2 all square and we have a to the power of 4 times 2, that is 8, is equal to, if you expand this, we have 9 a square plus 12 a plus 4. Then, we already know that a square is equal to a plus 1. We have a to the power of 8 is equal to 9 bracket a plus 1 plus 12a plus 4. And this is a to the power of 8 is equal to 9 times a. 9a plus 9 times 1. 9 plus 12a plus 4. a to the power of 8 is equal to 9a plus 12a. That is 21a plus 9 plus 4. That is 13. Now, at this point, we can divide both sides of this equation by a or divide all through by a. That is, this divided by a, this divided by a, this divided by a. Because we are looking for the a to the power of 7. So, this... This equation become a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 divided by a. Here we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 multiplied by 1 divided by a. Then we know that initially we say that let a is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2 that is from here so and if a is equal to root 5 plus 1 divided by 2 then 1 divided by a will be equal to 2 divided by root 5 plus 1 now let's substitute we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 multiplied by 2 divided by root 5 plus 1. Then we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 multiplied by 2 divided by root 5 plus 1 then multiply by the conjugate of this is root 5 minus 1 divided by root 5 minus 1 here we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 
multiply by a bracket this is 2 root 5 minus 1 divided by if you multiply this by this we have 5 minus 1 then here we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 multiply by this is 2 bracket root 5 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 this is 4 this 2 we cancel this we have 2 and a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Then from here we have a to the power of 7 is equal to 21 plus 13 times root 5 that is 13 root 5 minus 13 times 1 that is 13 then divided by 2 then here this is divided by 1 a to the power of 7 is equal to this is 42 plus 13 root 5 minus 13 divided by 2 then a to the power of 7 is equal to 42 minus 13 that is 29 plus 13 root 5 divided by 2 and this is the final answer therefore square root of 15 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 all to the power of 7 is equal to 29 plus 13 root 5 divided by 2. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.